Tashreen and today I'm going to share with you how you can create a single page login screen using Vue.js just a disclaimer this screen uh, this login is not going to be connected with the backend it's just going to be a simple uh, view application with front-end work if you want you can extend it later on so uh, we are going to use view 3 and tailwind CSS to create the screen Tail, uh, I just recently came across this tailwind CSS and I think it's really really amazing one thing you need in advance uh, is that you need to have npm already installed I will just go through the screen and I will include all the links in the description of the video so we are going to call it a view app and then we cd into the view app and run npm install as it says here next are the few steps we need to uh, we need to use to set up tailwind has view 3 as it says view 3 and we why don't support post css8 for now so this is a hack around for that we will just go ahead and install those uh, next step would be that uh, create your configuration files this command can be used to generate the configuration files but what I am going to do is I'm gonna create them manually so it's called tailwind.config.js I will just go ahead and copy these files these are the configuration files uh, for Tailwind CSS which can be um, customized and here you will find everything regarding how you can customize it next we need to create a file called, called postcssconfig.js and the root of the folder so I'm just going to create that now You can skip this part or you can read through it, doesn't matter. Next it says include these three files in the index CSS, so in the source index CSS. Here we can include these files and make sure to add these at the top. Finally, ensure your CSS file is being imported in your source main just so you see this next CSS file is imported in main just so we are good. The next thing we need to do is npm run dev. So I will just find my terminal again and run npm run dev. And it shows me that now we, we can access the site on this local host. And it's loading, yes, sure. So we can access it there and we have loaded it. I will just make this screen smaller and extend this tab. And this is how Vue just works. So you these things which are you seeing here is a component called a hello world component and you are importing this hello world component from this components folder and then you're declaring it here and that's how view renders it how we know it we can prove it here hello world can uh, we can change it to hello world and you see this is the views magic it will not refresh the page but just component 
uh, for now we would keep this hello world component here but now we are going to create our own login view I will just copy paste this and I will go ahead and rename it to login actually this name you can just call it login and it will work you don't we don't need any props here and we do not need this data value here so what we are going to do is declare two input types one is called I will just create this as a text V model is something which will bind uh, this field with something we are going to do in the future I will show you that as well so you got this you can uh, V model can be can be expected as it is similar to a name of the input field so I will create this password thing I will just create a placeholder and email at email.com another placeholder can be for password something like this would be good and make sure to rename that to password um, yeah just let's see how this looks here so we can import it login copy this line call it login login okay. and sure it shows us the email and the password thing um, this name I was talking about this is important uh, if you want to name it not in bigger words but something like this sure it works now we can go ahead and remove this hello world we don't need it anymore um, what we are missing right now is a button and we can call it login sure we see a button but doesn't look like a button so here we would use tailwind CSS uh, to style it a bit I have a padding x for padding y of 2 um, background color blue 500 text wide and I want to give it a part radius of so all this these classes you can read it in the documentation uh, on Tailwind very detailed but you see a little effort and this button looks very good but when we are hovering over it we do not see it so what we can do is hover background blue 700 and now we should see a very cool thing here uh, next thing what we need to do is because nothing will happen if we click on this button yet so we need to buy it and bind it to a function so this is how it's binded in view uh, to the function which we need to declare now on the methods got it on login and what we do here is if, if this dot if this dot email this one right here equal equals email add 
email.com and stop password equal, equal equal password then we can say then we can just alert saying login successful else we can wrong credentials and hopefully it should work now let's see okay wrong credentials fair enough email at email dot COD let's say for the sake of testing it on credentials right and now let me see if I have the password right B A S S login successful so I hope this video helps you and if it does please like and write in the comments if you have any questions regarding this and I will be promptly answering those questions. See you in the next video. Bye.